the latest news on space weather, we have yet another solar storm coming in with a coronal mass ejection. NASA braces Earth as a swirling sun debris delivers a glancing blow. The solar storm warning issued by NASA bracing Earth to feel potential impacts of the sun debris in days. This has to do with a coronal mass ejection that came out on December 5th. A magnetic filament in the sun, the sun's southern hemisphere exploded and the swirling debris will probably sail just south of our planet today, tomorrow. No geomagnetic storms are expected, but the near miss could spark auroras around the poles and solar flare alerts. The coronal mass ejection, the CME of plasma, a magnetic field has escaped the sun and is forecast to possibly strike later this week. CME was cast towards their planet on Monday when a large filament of magnetism lashed out from the sun's bottom half. Dr. Tamitha Scove, space weather physicist, warns that a recent filament eruption from the sun will deliver a glancing blow, she says, to the south of the planet causing mild disruption. She said NASA predicted so that recent filament eruption looks to deliver a glancing blow to the south of Earth by December 11. Expect a mild disturbance, she said, but the aurora is possible at high altitudes with sporadic amateur radio and GPS issues on Earth's night side. And according to the astronomers at South Africa's National Space Agency, there are now two CMEs that are potentially heading to Earth from filament eruptions. Two of them, not just one. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. It seems that we're having a solar alert every week with CMEs coming at us. Now this first CME in this case is expected to reach Earth today around 7 p.m. but their confidence is now uh, that th th this is low due to limited imagery available for analysis and the second of the ejections will likely pass the Earth with a possible weak influence on December 10th to 11th. They said although solar wind speeds will initially be at background levels it's expected to become enhanced due to the aforementioned CME or possible influence from coronal hole 29, CH29, in the northwest quadrant. Now, according to the astronomers behind space weather, the swirling debris, quote unquote, caused by the explosion from the sun will barely miss our Earth. They predict that the debris will fly just south of the planet. No geomagnetic storms are expected from this. The near miss could spark auroras around the poles, they said. And according to U.S. Space Weather Prediction Center, CMEs can escape the sun at speeds between 560,000 miles per hour to more than 6.7 million miles per hour. And uh, this is on Space Weather and uh, Express UK by Anthony Ashkenazi. I'll leave links below for you for this. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.